Yeah, g'day guys, it's Shane here with the Backyard Bushman. I don't even know if you can hear me on this because I'm right down by the, uh, the river here. And we have this little guy swimming across the water there. Um, now common sense tells me that in the Pacific Northwest there is nothing venomous uh, uh, west of the Cascades, you know, except for the, uh, the Black Widow Spider out here and the Brown Recluse or the Hobo Spider and that's about it. So, I come from a land full of snakes of course, but I'm not quite up to speed on snakes in this area. Um, as best I can tell, that's a little garter snake, but the funny thing is, when he hit the edge and he saw me, he kind of coiled back in a what looked like a strike position. Um, but as I continue to look at him, it looks like he's not so much, uh, not so much ready to attack me as he's just getting a little, uh, little defensive air and hugging that rock, trying to make himself nice and compact. So if you guys have any clue what kind of snake this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up online in the meantime. I think he's perfectly harmless, but, you know, the missus is here and she's freaking out, she doesn't want me near it. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. This has been Shane with the Backyard Bushman Channel. I thought this was interesting enough to put it up there. Leave me your comments. Tell me what you know about the snake. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, good day, guys. It's Shane with the Backyard Bushman Channel again. Anyways, <laughs> the dangerous snake experiment. Anyway, one of the uh, one of the locals came over and he had a look, and he did confirm it was a garden snake. As I said, there's no venomous snakes in Western Washington. Um, it might be cool to, to discover one, but at any rate, uh, the little bugger had to go with me. It was kind of funny. He took two shots of me. I got nice and close. But uh, a word of a uh, word of warning with snakes, guys. Okay, any snake, any snake, regardless of whether they're venomous or they're not venomous, they will bite you. They will take a shot at you, whether they're acting aggressively, whether they're acting defensively. You have to remember that's that's their tool is the jaws. Okay, that's how they hunt, that's how they live. That is the only weapon that they have. So even though he was just a little garter snake. You know, he sat there and he got all defensive on the edge of the water there, and I got down. I just moved a bit. He he flashed out a couple times. Uh, I didn't I didn't go in and handle him. The missus wasn't having that, so you know. But I got down there, and uh, if you're uh, an old trick, if you got a, a good hat on you, okay, you gotta remember, snake is gonna strike whatever's closest. If you've ever seen people charming snakes, okay, and the cobras dancing side to side, the trick with that is that the snake's trying to strike at the guy, but his bloody flute's in the way. Okay, they're not hypnotizing the snake. That snake just can't hit him because he moves that flute side to side. So with that in mind, if you've got a hat on you or something like that and you want to investigate a snake, okay, and you get down nice and close, make sure you lead with your hat or something in the front and a nice wide hat like this, okay? He's not going to be able to strike past that. Um, but the best advice I've got for you, okay, the absolute best advice I've got for you is not to mess with snakes, okay, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, there's a few different ways you can recognize whether a snake's venomous or not. You can look that up on your own time. I'm not about to give you a lesson on that, but I just figured I'd uh, let you guys know. Yeah, it was a harmless car to stay. I had a bit of fun. He was a feisty little bugger, but uh, thanks for watching. Once again, it's been Shane with the Backyard Bushman Channel. Appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.